All right, uh, we're looking at the system that is servicing sort of the main living area of the house. Uh, this was originally the only system in the home. Um, so because of that, the thermostat is down through that hallway down there is where all the bedrooms are at. Um, but they've done a big addition and there's a large kind of living room kitchen. It's sort of back this way over here that we want to link um, one of the secondary sensors and put it in this back room. So the system is now reading temperature from here, but being controlled from the thermostat that's back there. Um, so the front door is just here to the right. And there's a side entrance that you can come through right here. In fact, you can see driveway kind of pulls through here and then there's a door right there. I'll walk out in just a second. The AC sitting right around the corner here. So this unit uh, is a little bit above D width. It's 26 inches wide, 40 inches tall. It's got a little nine inch um, coil there. You can see my height here, 38 inches from here to here. And then it's got this low side return. Uh, this is 20, uh, I'm trying to read my notes here. This is 24 by 23 and a half. It's a nine inch, nine and a half inch gap here. I think what we need to do is obviously we need to lift this thing up. Um, I'm gonna look at my height measurements with my furnace and my coils, see what we got left, and try to lift this thing up maybe on like a 12 to 14 inch base. Um, and then we're gonna have to replace this section right here. Uh, six by four by four. Uh, there is a flue liner in. Drains here in the corner. Um, powered humidifier, we're gonna take all that off. There's a piercing valve, you just have to crimp back there. And then for the combustible air grills, I believe that is a fresh air return there. Um, what we'd like to do is try to just set everything up without having to cut any combustible grills into the doors or the walls. See if we can pass the inspection with that. If not, then we have to cut in right here and potentially right there. Uh, let me walk you out while I'm standing here. So I'm gonna have to show up and maybe we'll get Keith or Vince to come out as well. This is one of two systems that we're doing. We actually, we did a third one here a couple weeks back. So she really doesn't want to get rid of this bush. Um, pretty good access through here. I think this is the way we're going to have to go. We can have somebody kind of hold and pull that back. And we'll lift everything through there. Um, line sets are coming out over there where the disconnect's at. So you need about, I don't know, six foot of arm flex and we'll just flush and reuse those. And then for context, the other system for the master bedroom is below in the crawl space. You gotta go around that corner. So I'll get a video over there in a second.